you know, this idea that somehow the Democrats say Trump will be worse on Palestine. And maybe we talked about this. You know, how, how would that be possible? I mean, a sort of, of Trump dropping a nuclear weapon. How, I mean, we both know the Israeli military does not have the capacity because they're overstretched and they're exhausted. And the IDF is begging for a ceasefire because they are so overstretched and exhausted at this point. You know, Israeli reservists are not signing back up. Not some of them, some of them, it's out of the moral repulsion of what's occurring there, but most of them is because they're exhausted. They've already been called up two or three times in the last 11 months. They just simply can't do it anymore. The Israeli military does not have the capacity to drop any more bombs, and it's dropping right now. I don't know if we have the air and sea lift capacity to have sent more than we've already sent. We've sent 50,000 tons of munitions and military equipment, and vehicles, and, and so, so forth. Um, in the last 11 months, I'm not sure how much more we could have done than that. There had been over 500 uh, military transport aircraft that has delivered equipment, ammunition, et cetera, for the Israelis since this started. 500 of these basically like 747 style for our civilian audience. I mean, we're talking huge transports and that doesn't count anything that's come in via sea lift. So yeah, that's been, uh, 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 and from that report with the Times of Israel put out your sighting, because it was having the 500th flight had landed. And at that point, there have been 107 ships Oh, 107. So least, I 107. So at least three or four more ships have come in in that time. You all know how big a ship is. You know, that 747 is big. But you ever seen our ships? Like our car? I mean, like these things are, you know what I mean? But, but you know, when we do that math, right, Danny? I mean, 300 some odd days, 600 plus delivers munitions. You're talking about every 12 hours there's been a weapons shipment from the United States to Israel since October 7th. Every 12 and, hours. And that's not enough. And that's not enough. Right. And the concessions... Just what what concessions have they made? What where where has has life gotten better for the Palestinians in Gaza? 